Folks, I can see those smiles out there. Either you're happy to be alive or you're happy to be back here with us for our new big spring table. Get excited, it's gonna be really good. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Alrighty folks, now you know we're right on the end of our blue and white series. So we're gonna have some more blue and white, but we're gonna feather in and do something really different with this table. I'm gonna do the arrangement and then I'll show you the plates shortly. Now here's a, like I like to do, a little bunch of pine that I'm gonna use for an oasis because it's always available to us. And I'm gonna get my height established with this incredible lavender hydrangea. Now I want my runner so I can help with my lengths overall of the arrangement. Now I got to get my heaviest base pieces in here. Do you think I want to use this? See this bush with the pink leaves? You might have seen it before. I'm going to put that in here even and pull it apart a little bit as a back drop. Now some pink cheek roses because I have a ton of them. I'm going to put them in the bottom. Next I've got these incredible, oh boy, look at this, just got these this year. Peony, that would be early peony, just popping and its color isn't fully developed yet. This is what I look for. Now this is depicting early spring for us, see? Alrighty, now we're getting a little more control over our bouquet. I want to come up higher with a rose and the pink blush on each side. Anybody liking this yet? I'm starting to like this. Now, you know, I gotta, for the women, <laughs> I gotta use a little pink. Pretty with that little bit. Don't worry, you girls, with those super ultra pink channels. I'm not gonna be your competition. <laughs> they know that anyway, I'm just teasing them. We're gonna look at some other aspects here. You know, I like to use the long and feathery. Normal balance, one on each side, for the most part. Okay, now we've got the rest of our parts. I can finish filling in the back here. The only ones in the house. These are the oldest ones in the house. Three tulips with wet leaves and they're in a light green because they're not quite all, all out yet. So they'll go with our arrangement here. Okay folks, now the superstars of today's table 
are going to be three different patterns here. Now I've never done this. You regulars know I never mix and match a table, especially the big table. But I thought we'd do something different. So I'm using sets that we normally use for the five seater table. And I'm going to mix it up and see what we come up with with the 12. So my selection today is this fabulous pink with the rose and it's by Alliance in Ohio, USA. Next is Old English by Johnson Brothers. And it's old, all right. I can't even find one piece of this. <laughs> now you folks in the UK can probably find some. I got five dinner plates of this pattern. It is gorgeous and very unique. For now, that's all I have. Then the group of flowers with the bachelor buttons is by Kaiser of Germany. Now we only need two of those, so I'm going to put them at the head each end of the table. I want to use this white charger with the scalloped edge today. Most everything is about white and light and it's going to complement our centerpiece. How about a napkin? A pretty textured napkin off the left side of the plate. Okay, so here we have it. We have our dinner knife facing the plate. The edge of the knife. I've got that all caught up and done. And we have dinner spoon to the right of that and then dessert spoon. Now next to the plate on the left on the napkin, most of you know who's been with us, but for those that don't, we want that dinner fork and then the salad fork, just like this. Now a lot of times, I'll s s look at the plates that we have and all of these have a gold rim. Normally that'll dictate sometimes the charger or even the flatware that I want to use. What's different today? It just doesn't supersede my thought on how the silver flatware goes with the color theme that we're using today. The light pink and blue and white. That's the difference to me today. So that's why I went with the silver flatware versus the gold. Now we're gonna get some ancillary pieces on and really step it up. Just a glorious candlestick pair by Westmoreland. And the cutest pair to stir salt and peppers in the Victorian style. And with a long table like this, we're going to want a couple of sets of salt and peppers at each end and there's our vinegar cruet now there's a mint dish a condiment a wonderful spring relish dish and a pitcher and we've got those in 
the depression glass. People want to see, and you should use your things, not just shove them in a cupboard. They were made to be used. And how glorious to put them all together. We need a wine. I'm thinking we need one at each end of the table. Okay, folks, so like you've seen me before, I like a wine and a water and then a cordial glass. And I like to step them down just like you see here. Let me tell you, I think I have to take you and show you all around. Well, folks, now, if you liked our table today, give us a like, a share, a comment. Send a double-decker bus full of subscribers over. Well, yeah, we, we'll love you forever. Thanks, guys. And check it out. Anybody that misses Monday and Wednesday next week is just going to have a fit. Take care now, be good, and keep that smile on. Spring's right around the corner. And we'll see you in the next over-the-top decor video.